now that we have discussed about quadrilateral and its geometrical properties in brief let's see the different types of structures which have the shape of a quadrilateral let's investigate the different possible types of quadrilaterals through the real life objects taken into consideration today's session is about applications of quadrilateral so let's investigate to search for real life models which connect with quadrilateral let's take different objects and see how the quadrilaterals are in different shapes out in the given situations quadrilateral connected with real life models now let's see some real life models which understand quadrilaterals in a more better manner imagine i take this cover of a disc or a cd the dvd disc cover out here clearly is in the shape of a quadrilateral because i understand that there are four straight lines line 1 line 2 line 3 and line 4 and the four lines are combined to form a closed region so this clearly is a quadrilateral a b c d now how do i understand this front face of the quadrilateral it is identified that this quadrilateral is not irregular in shape but regular in shape in the manner that each of the quadrilateral corner is exactly at 90 degrees so this is at 90 this is at 90 this is at 90 and this is at 90 also i observe that each of the sides of the quadrilateral are equal the length of the side out here is same as the length of the side out here which is the same as that out here and which is the same as that out here so all the sides are equal and each angle is 90 so i need to give some some special name for this quadrilateral so let's see the different types of real life models as we discuss let's go with this disc as taken out here then so here is what i get the shape of the disc cover when i draw on the board so this as formed by line 1 line 2 line 3 and line 4 a four sided figure with special geometrical properties that each angle is 90 90 degrees 90 degrees 90 degrees and 90 degrees and also i observe that length of each corner for example i take the four corners as a b c d when i take a more clear picture of this i have a b c d in which my each angle is 90 as a special case i have all the angles to be exactly l shaped 90 degrees and i also observe that for this model each of the lengths are equal that is my length ab is equal to length bc equal to length cd equal to length da that means all my four sides are equal in length so let's see with each angle being 90 and all sides equal what we can define for this kind of a quadrilateral as a special case so interestingly in this case i see that for this real life model in which each angle is 90 and all sides are equal is called a, co- a square a quadrilateral a 
in which each angle is 90 degrees and all sides are equal is called a square. The special name I give for a, a quadrilateral whose first special case being that each of the corners is exactly at 90 degrees angle and that all the lengths of the sides are equal is called a quadrilateral given by the special name square. A quadrilateral in which each corner angle is 90 degrees and the lengths of sides are equal is called a square square a special case of a quadrilateral taken through the real life model of the disc cover cut now let's take another real life model to see the different quadratic shapes which are available in mathematics the next real life model is this cardboard frame now here when i see this the first thing i investigate is that this is a closed region formed by four straight lines line one line two line three and line four so each of the four lines form a closed region so definitely this is called a quadrilateral but let's see the special features in this quadrilateral in this case initially when i start with angle again here i see that each angle is 90 degrees so every angle corner which I take out here is 90 degrees. Therefore, as in the previous case, similarly in this, I have a frame this frame which is taken on the board. I see that the first thing I observe is this is the special feature which is observed in case of every corner being at 90 degrees. But let's see the lengths of sides. As I see that this length is shorter than this length because this length is longer when measured in length and this is shorter when measured in length. So obviously these two sides are bigger in length and these two sides are smaller in length. So the second thing what I observe is that the first thing let me write here angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D are all each equal to 90 is my first observation. My first observation is with each angle being 90. My second observation is that the line segments AB and CD are bigger than the line segments AD and BC are larger lengths. These two are the larger lengths is what I observe. And these two are the smaller lengths. So my AD and BC are smaller lengths. So AB, CD are larger lengths. AD, BC are smaller lengths. Also, I see that when I see the frame clearly, this length seems to be exactly equal to this length because these two are 90 degrees therefore they are parallel so the next thing i observe is because these two are 90 these two are parallel and these two are parallel so i see that the top line and the bottom line are parallel to each other and the rightmost line and the leftmost line are both parallel to each other so the third observation out here is that ab line segment is parallel 
to DC and AD is parallel to PC is what I observe in this case. Also I observe that because these two are parallel and these two are parallel I see that this length is exactly equal to this length and this length is exactly equal to this length that is my length here is equal to this and my length here is equal to this. So my third observation is my AB is equal to DC the length AB equals length DC and my length AD equals length BC is how I get the two pairs of lengths being equal. So finally I see that this frame has four specific geometric properties each angle being 90 each of the angle being 90 and AB and CD are larger lengths so AB and CD these two are larger lengths and the other two are smaller lengths as can be seen this length and this length are small lengths. Similarly I see that AB parallel to DC so this is parallel to this they have equal distances in between and these two are also equally parallel in the case. My third observation is this equals this that is this length on the top is same as this length on the bottom as I can investigate through measuring tape to see if they are equal they are equal therefore this equals this and this length equally is equal to this. So these are the geometric properties I identify. Now let's see how we can connect this with the special case of a quadrilateral. So I have totally these geometric properties with each angle being 90 degrees, opposite sides being parallel to each other and opposite sides are equal and there are two larger lengths and two smaller lengths is what we observe as the complete geometrical features. So if a quadrilateral has each angle 90 and opposite sides are equal then such a quadrilateral is called a rectangle a special case of a quadrilateral. So let's see a quadrilateral a quadrilateral whose each angle is 90 and opposite sides are equal each angle is 90 and opposite sides are equal is called a rectangle a quadrilateral whose each angle is 90 and opposite sides are equal is called a rectangle a special case of a quadrilateral all four sides equal and each angle 90 is a square and all four sides not equal but opposite sides equal and each angle 90 is called a rectangle rectangle a special case of a quadrilateral is how we understand the special cases of a quadrilateral. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.